what's up y'all welcome back to that so jazz and I am currently 23 weeks <sighs> finally here like very close to the end of my so I wanted to come on here and give y'all a pregnancy symptom updates I wanted to give y'all things that I've been going through these last couple of weeks the last time I recorded I was 18 weeks pregnant um, and I did the gender reveal and we found out it was a girl. That was extremely exciting, especially because I have two boys already. And, you know, I always said to myself, I wanted two boys and a girl. So I'm looking down at my phone because I took notes so I don't forget some symptoms that I want to talk about. Okay, so lately... That's my baby. So lately... The symptoms I've been having, one of the biggest symptoms is acid reflux. When I say like acid reflux, it's just like a problem. <laughs> like especially when you're trying to, it only happens at nighttime when I'm trying to relax and I'm trying to go to sleep and then it's just like this burning and I just keep burping and burning in my throat. So um, that's a new symptom for me because with my boys, I did not have that symptom. So. Um, that's the, another one is sweet cravings. I'm not a sweet person, like sweet tooth person. I never really liked sweets growing up. My mom just didn't. Is that a spider web? Oh no, come on. Okay. So growing up, my mother didn't really let me eat sweets. So I never had a taste for sweets. But with this pregnancy, I want everything. Like, after I finish recording, we about to go get some ice cream from Yogi Castle. I don't know if y'all heard of Yogi Castle, but it is freaking amazing. I'm lactose intolerant, so Yogi Castle is yogurt, but, like, it give you that ice cream feel. And you have so many toppings, like strawberries and um, different cake. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm outside and, like, <clears throat> I don't do a bunch of bugs. <coughs> Sorry, but okay, <laughs> but um, they give you a lot of cake toppings and cake options, so you can get like cake batter, brownie, like a whole bunch of stuff, and I just love it. So, and plus, I eat, I've been eating a bunch of candy and like probably stuff I shouldn't be eating, but that's just what I crave sweets. Um, another one is leg cramps. So lately, since I've been gaining weight, when I lay on my side, it's a lot of pressure because my bump has gotten a lot bigger. So I get, I put a pillow in between my legs, but my bottom leg will start to cramp and then I have to roll over and then that leg will start to cramp. So I've been dealing with a lot of leg cramps. Another thing is abdominal tightening. Now they do say you go to hips. They do say you go through Braxton Hicks. I'm not necessarily sure if it's... It probably is because I'm going into my third trimester. So it probably is Braxton Hicks contractions. But what it feels like is a tightening where my abdominal is. And then for a little bit and then it release. Um, it's not really painful but it's just uncomfortable. You can feel it a little bit but it doesn't really hurt. Um, sleepy again like the way I was in my first trimester taking naps and stuff going into my third trimester I'm tired again like I could be up for only five hours before I feel like okay it's time to take a nap yeah it's about that time <laughs> or like just falling asleep watching tv or doing something I just feel really tired and what my baby would do is if I'm pushing my body too much I would get a headache so she will be like, mommy, sit down now. <laughs> so that's back pains. I've been having a lot of back pains. Um, like now I have to sleep on a couch because it gives me extra cushion. I do have a pregnancy pillow, but it has not really been relieving my back pain when I'm in the bed. So now I sleep on the couch to kind of like have the extra cushion for my back. And that's I'm really sleeping, been helping. of course, because I'm tossing and turning Mommy, with like, doing? I'm talking, give me a sec. Um, tossing and turning with the leg cramps and the acid reflux. So it's just been a little hard to sleep. But, you know, I've been trying to do my best to work with it. 
and the other thing is right where my I don't know the right wording for but vaginal area like it's sore and I think because it's a lot of pressure pressure right there so when I'm laying on my side and I'm sleeping I don't have enough pillows in between my legs like really bad cramping when I get up so that is my symptoms so far and I am so sweaty like all right, so now I want to show y'all the baby bump update. So I'm going to stand up so y'all can see her. She's gotten so big, and actually I just went to a doctor's appointment um, and got a sonogram, and she's one pound, five ounces. So I was excited, um, really excited to find out that she's one pound, five ounces, so that lets me know that she's gaining weight and not just me. But... Y'all did not get big. Oh my gosh. I got so big. Okay, so this is my baby bump. So y'all can see she definitely grew. Well, I grew. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to make sure it's not too much shadow. So y'all can really see. But um, that's an update on the belly. I wanted to do... A special shout out to my TTC moms and um, I guess that's all in the same category if you're trying to get pregnant same TTC moms so I want to give a shout out to my TTC moms and let you know that don't be so hard on yourself and your time is sometimes it takes a lot of patience and I know it can be stressful seeing as my second child it took me four years, four years in a different partner to get pregnant. So, and the crazy part about that, when I had my second child, when I wanted my second child in the first, I was married and that marriage didn't work out and I ended up having my second child with my husband now. So life don't always go the way you expect it to go but trust the process and your baby will be here soon just be patient with this baby it took a year and a half about a year and a half or a year and some change um and it took me to just forget about it and stop stressing and just don't think about it try to go throughout my day um get things in order with myself my energy that i want just focus on me and then out of nowhere when i thought i was gonna have a hot girl summer <laughs> boop, there she was so i just want to encourage y'all to just keep pushing um take a minute to breathe take a minute to focus on you spoil yourself and that beautiful bundle that you want is going to be here i'm sending baby blessings your way um I promise you, if you be patient, your time will come. You know, it, I know sometimes it feels like everyone around you is getting pregnant and you're like, so when is it going to be my turn? I've been doing this, I've been doing that, and it's just not happening. But trust in the process, just like anything else when it comes to career, when it comes to um, relationships everything you have to trust the process so another thing another tip that I want to give I tried these pills that I feel like also helped in the process okay these are called maca uh, if you can see um, I ordered these and it comes with 150 I only I only use like I still have a full bottle I only used a little bit and I was pregnant but I also think this helps but I also think the timing and me being relaxed and not stressing myself and trying not to think about it and letting God in the universe guide me and know that it's going to happen in the right time but I am here for y'all and um, 
I definitely know what it feels like and the stress of, you know, wanting something so bad right now and it's not happening. But again, this is all the baby blessings and that baby will come. And when it do, leave a comment below so I can throw a party for you. Like, I get it. But just know, like, it's going to happen. So, also try these. Try these. And um, you can get them off of Amazon. I'll leave, like, the link to where I got them down below. I'm going to try to remember because I know sometimes I'll be saying that. Y'all be like, Jasmine, where is the link? <laughs> so, I try to remember to leave the link, but if not, like, here it is. Amazon. Go on Amazon and order these. But I thank y'all for tuning in to my baby bump update. My toddler's getting restless. He's been asking me for ice cream like a thousand times. So, I'm about to go get him some ice cream. And I will see y'all next week. If you want to come along for my baby journey and meet Rose. Um, in a couple of months, just follow my journey and subscribe, like, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!